Chapter 23, Vehicle Sign. As defined in Chapter 2, a sign is any physical indication left on the environment by the passage of an animal or inanimate object. No account of tracking can be complete without considering the study of the sign left by vehicles. The traffic police and insurance assessors have built up vast forensic data relating to speed, direction, and roadworthiness that they can extract from vehicle marks left in the scene of a traffic accident. I do not intend trespassing on this specialist area because this book's purpose is tracking, which, by definition, is following the line of the sign. Tire tracks, just as a tracker studying the print of an animal or a human, has a checklist of features. He has one when recording the detail of a vehicle print. The following are details in which the tracker is interested. Depth of tread, see figure 71. Depth of impression, distinguishing features of the tread, wear pattern. Pattern of the tire. Width of the tire tread, weight of the vehicle and its load, the pressure of the tire. Variations of the different wheels. Width of track will indicate the type of vehicle. <clears throat> Direction of travel. Indicated by the tread pattern. Stones are pushed forward slightly and then kicked back. Passing over a bump, the tires will broaden out momentarily as they impact on landing. Small areas of dust, mud, and water will be thrown out and slightly backwards. Puddles of water, if driven through fast, will push the water forward. Reversing. Uncertain line. Just as in other tracking scenarios, the tracker is trying to gain as much information from the sign as possible. To this end, the emotional state of the driver can be estimated to agree by the presence of skid marks where the vehicle has been drawn to a halt or where it has sped off. <clears throat> vehicle loads. Often, the load of a vehicle, especially a goods vehicle, can leave a great deal of useful information for the tracker that will link a vehicle to two sites and a particular route. Deposits can be left on the road, ground, in the form of drips from a bulk liquid carrier or in overhanging vegetation from other types of load. Bicycles. Two-wheeled vehicles have an inherent advantage for the tracker in that when they move more slowly, the rider has greater difficulty maintaining his balance. The physical state of the rider and or the direction of travel of a bicycle can be judged by the track in that the straighter it is, the faster it is moving, so a tired rider, or one who is riding uphill, will leave a front wheel track that swings left and right of the axis. Tracking combined vehicle and foot journeys. As we mentioned in chapter 19, there is only one guaranteed method of thwarting a scent tracker, and that is by riding on an animal or a bike. But the tracker who is aware of the significance of vehicle prints and has studied them will be able to link in with the scent tracker and for frustrate this ploy by linking the vehicle prints at one entry and exit point with those at another. The two entry exit sites may not only be linked by vehicle and footprints impressions but by transfer of material from one site to another where it is totally foreign. Animal drawn vehicles. The fact that you as a tracker have identified the quarry as an animal drawn vehicle is in itself very useful distinguishing information. You then have to have the advantage of being able to draw conclusions from two sources, the prints of the animal and those of the vehicle. Skiers, men on snowshoes, and snowmobiles. Tracks made in snow will become fixed if the temperature drops and may remain for a long time. The military are well aware of this hazard of operating in snow. They try to use dead ground or tree cover to hide themselves from aerial surveillance, but Neither dead ground nor top cover from the tree canopy is a problem to a tracker following on the ground. However, knowing what the military do to try to overcome the serious disadvantages of moving through snow helps the tracker to realize what he must be thinking about. The military attempt to deceive the enemy by laying more tracks to create an illusion of greater numbers or by hiding their tracks among any existing ones. Therefore, the tracker must from the start of the track identify the particular features of the skis or snowshoes that belong to the target. He should note the width, the length, the depth of indentation, any deformities of the blade, and any features of the ski poles and how they are used by the skier. But the tracker will have to be alert for the obvious deception of changing skis, which in itself will create telltale sign at the point of changeover. 
The direction of the skier and even the snowmobile will be the most obvious on gradients. As with the cyclist, and therefore when there is a gradient and there are several sets of tracks, those going in the wrong direction can be immediately eliminated. On the level, the marks of the ski poles will give the direction as they kick back and push off. On a bumpy surface, the direction of a snowmobile is easy to ascertain since the track will have slight gaps in it or shallower depressions as the vehicle takes off and leaves the surface momentarily after the crest of the rise. Summary. Details of tire tracks. Depth of tread. Depth of impression. Distinguishing features of the tread. Wear pattern. Pattern of the tire. Width of the tire tread. Weight of the vehicle and its load. The pressure of the tire. Variations of the different wheels. Width of track will indicate the type of vehicle. Direction of travel. Indicated by the tread patterns. Stone to push forward slightly and then kicked back. Passed over a bump, the tires will broaden out momentarily as they impact on landing. Small areas of dust, mud, and water will be thrown out and slightly backwards. Puddles of water, if driven through fast, will push the water forward. Reversing creates uncertain line. Other vehicle sign. Loads can leave deposits on the ground or disturb vegetation. Bicycle tracks can reveal direction of travel and physical state of its rider. Combined vehicle foot journeys can be linked to entry exit points. Animal drawn vehicles offer two sources of sign, prints of the animal and of the vehicle. Tracks in snow require extra vigilance against enemy deception tactics as well as identifying target features.